Okay, ready? Let's do this. Starting with one leg squats, breaking down the, the get up to really get the flow on it. Four rounds, 10 repetitions of each exercise. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now for the Pilates exercises, starting with the roll up. to do when you're heavily breathing. Six. Seven. Ten. Okay, now for the back roll. And ten. Now the full get up. One. Three. 
four. first round and notice that I'm not rushing it I'm taking my time this is not about rushing it it's about doing this perfectly every repetition you need to focus on that so second round one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straight mountain climbers. One, three, four, six, eight, and ten. The roll up. Try to push your belly button down into the mat. Seven, eight, nine, and one more. Here. On the back roll. Three. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 
nine. And ten. The get ups. One. Two. Three. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. That was round two. Two to go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Straight them Z's. Two, four. Six, eight, ten. The rolls. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Get up. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven. Nine and ten. One last round. One, two. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight mountain numbers. One, four. Push your belly button down towards the mat. One. Two. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. 
nine. And 10. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Last exercise. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, that was only part one. We have two part, part, we have part two to go, and this part is going to be a lot more intense. So this one is, is all about flow. The first part is all about flow. The second part is about intensity. It's about form. It's about doing every repetition, every repetition perfect. But I can promise you, you will breathe a lot harder. <laughs> I think there's nothing to wait for, just let's just start this. <sighs> Ten air squats. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> Vertical jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Four jumps. Two. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, push ups, ten of those. One, two. Whoa, my legs are really killing me. Two.
10. Whoa. Another burpees, full burpees. One. Way more times. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Stop there. Push-ups next. Ten regular push-ups. We can do this. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, whoa, one more, ten, boobies next. Six, 
seven. Eight. jumps. totally different than the part one. Totally different. Push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. Eight, 
and I'm all beat up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Whoa. Really get tight in my shoulders and my legs. Okay, vertical jumps. Man up. These are hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. I should never know that the hardest thing for the push-ups are actually my thighs. They just they're tired and they can't really stabilize that plank plank exercise anymore. So but it's the last round. So we're gonna do it. Because we can. We're able to do so much more than we think. So push ups. Five. Seven. Whoa. Whoa. Now the burpees at the end here. Ten. You do this. Halfway, five more. Whoa, these, these seem never ending. Six. Seven. Eight. One more. Victory Burpee. Yeah! Whoa. Yeah, this one. I just need to breathe. Okay.
Okay, people, that's it. That's the workout. And this is one of the longer workouts. But as it has two parts, you can divide it up into two pieces if you want to. Two workouts. You can do one workout maybe on your rest day. Maybe just do part two if you know that you have a workout day and you need to do something quick but intense, do part two. And maybe on the next day, on the rest day, when you're sore and your body needs a little more rest, do, do part one. It won't get you as worked up and it will, it will work your body more subtly. So, 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 uh, more subtle. Not suddenly, well, more subtle. And it will work your spine, it will work your core. Uh, this last part will work your whole body and it will work your, you will get your cardio and your strength and uh, even some um, uh, flexibility. Sorry, my brain doesn't work yet. Uh, so you'll, you'll have everything in one workout. But that first part is all about core, and it's all about control, and it's all about flow. It's all about making your body work as a unit. You know, uh, you need a body that can cooperate with itself. You need a body that can work as a whole, whole unit, so that you don't isolate one arm or your your abs or your legs. This is, it's one exercise. You're gonna start on your back, lying on the floor, and be able to get up gracefully without using your hands. And it's possible. You just need to practice it. And that first part breaks down that exercise and gives you the strength to be able to do that. Just do it. And you can keep that part one in your head and do it whenever you like. It's a body weight workout. You don't need any equipment for it. Maybe a mat, maybe a blanket, something soft to keep on the floor, but that's it. That's what you need. If you're doing it in the summer, you can do it out, you know, on the lawn. <laughs> as long as you have some grass, it will be soft. So, do it as often as you can, and it's perfect to do on your rest days, on your active rest days, so in between the workouts. Uh, and part two, is great when you need a short, intense workout and you will work your whole body. It's a great go-to workout and you can take it anywhere because it's, it's body weight. You can do the air squats like this. You don't necessarily need the broomstick. It's a great tool to help you do that exercise even better. But you don't necessarily need it. And you can use something else instead if you can find it. You can, you can use, you know, a stick that you find in the woods. Just make sure that you have some workouts that you have, you know by heart. This is so simple because you know that it's one exercise. It's a burpee. I just, I just broke up the burpee. I did one session, one section of the, of the burpee at a time. Ten repetitions each and then the full burpees that you will work on that as well. That's it, and then you have done your whole body. So just keep doing my workouts. You will get so much stronger and you'll feel so much better. This is, it feels great. And yeah, I believe that you will discover what the passion is about. The passion of being fit. It's not about your weight. It's not about your body fat percentage. It's not about that, it's about feeling strong, being the strongest you can be, being the best you, being able to do anything without restrictions, without your body restricting you to do anything. You can jump, you can run, you can take a leap when you want to, you can open any door, you can roll around on the floor, you can play with your kids, you can, and you can do this all your life. It's not about age, it's not about size, it's about just doing it and it works so if you have any questions 
talk to me on my Facebook uh, page. You will find the link to my Facebook page or my G Plus page. I have both down underneath the video. And feel free to ask me anything. I love your feedback. So, see you next week.